Okay, Jonathan here at Colfax Math. What I'm working on is I'm trying to get a board right off of the mill um, and do a single flat pack board, a single operation on the CNC to make a step stool like this. So this is pretty much it. I cut it with tenons in it. Um, the tenon fits right here into the mortise and then this pocket right here, I'll have a um, little cap to cover it all up. And then really it should come straight from the mill to the CNC. We'll put it together and then we'll be able to sell them right away without a lot of operation. I do have a couple of holding screws in here that'll be covered with that top cap. And I use a couple of those Timber Tech big screws here to hold on to this piece of fur. But it's pretty solid and stable. Um, I love the natural edge. I really like the idea that the off cut of this is the same as the tenon on this. So it just all kind of folds together. So I'll, get, I'll include a little video of making it, but it's kind of the new project we're working on right now. So this is our mini skid steer by Vermeer CTX50. It's a fantastic tool with that grapple. Really safe, really easy to use. This is a fur log, you can put onto the mill. Um, this is actually me loading logs right after we milled out that oak. But this fur log right here, I'm trying to get on the mill and I'm pushing that cedar forward. And then right here is the oak board that you see the bench made out of. So students are milling this on my wood miser LT15 uh, mill. I think we're milling to five and a quarter here. Students are doing a fantastic job milling this uh, natural edge oak. It's pretty hard. Then we take that board and go straight onto the CNC. This is my Forest Scientific 4x8 CNC router, the half inch flat end mill. Um, this is a time lapse video. It's actually running at 100 inches per minute. And I think this is five times speed. I'm running those circles so that you could put any width board on there and it would still run without having to reprogram it. So just cutting out the legs there, making sure they're perpendicular to that center line. And now that all the parts are cut out, these are the parts on the table. They just come apart and ready for assembly. Beautiful. That's the going to be off a little bit. Got these uh, four and a half inch timber locks. Set a piece of fur right there. So we'll just pop that thing in there. I don't know if you need to pilot hole these or not. 